know. Your Storm Alert Team Forecast from meteorologist Brittany Foster. Happy Thursday, everyone, and good morning. We're taking a look at visibility, and you know what that means, fog. We are seeing quite a bit of it across all of eastern Nebraska. This morning, North Fork down to five miles up to our north, even further, O'Neill three, two and a half now, Green Island. Your visibility has dropped. We're still at six in Lincoln. That could change, but the thickest of the fog continues to be off to our west, and I'd say right to the edge of the Hebron area where it's three miles. So keep that in mind as you're heading out the door. It's a little foggy, and also off to the west, you're seeing a little bit of some sprinkles and light showers pushing through. Now, Lincoln, we are dry at the moment, maybe a little bit of mist falling, but the actual showers are to our north and off to the west. That will quickly change later this morning. We'll start to see widespread scattered rain showers are turning across the area, and this continues not just through the afternoon, but even into the evening. So impacting your evening commute as you're heading home, might even hear some rumbles of thunder here and there, but mainly just a decent downpour at times and some showers off and on throughout the day. This even just continues. We're not done once we get to the late evening hours, even into around midnight tonight before this finally starts to really wrap up, pushing out of the area just in time for the morning commute on Friday. So how much more much needed rain will we get? Well, around a half an inch, but some of you with some of these showers, if they're a little bit of a heavier downpour or thunderstorm, you might just get close to an inch. So more beneficial rain to help really reduce those drought conditions. And we'll have an update on that later today. But looking at our temperatures at the moment, three mile 50 degrees in Lincoln, 50 in Beatrice, Omaha 47, Grand Island 49 in Hebron. And as we look at later today, well, we really don't want to see those 50s anymore. We want to be on the warmer side, but today yet again, those clouds are going to keep us cool. High temperatures around the low to mid 50s. So more like 54 degrees. So keep that coat with you throughout the day as well as the umbrella. And as we look at overnight tonight, again, that rain starts to move out after midnight. Temperatures fall the upper 40s, but look at tomorrow. Yes, this is your Friday forecast. Perfect timing for the warmer weather, right? 67 degrees for your high. We're back to the upper 60s and also partly cloudy skies. So a little bit of sunshine returning to end off the work week and the weekend looks pretty nice as well. Big warm up upper 70s both days, mostly sunny skies on Saturday. And as for Mother's Day, still a pretty nice day. It'll feel nice, but we will see some scattered rain. So off and on rain showers, not a washout the entire day. So I wouldn't say uh, Mother's Day is kind of a bummer. I mean, we still have nice temperatures, just a little soggy at times. It turns very humid, though, quickly by next week, Monday and Tuesday. We might even still be seeing highs hit the 90s on Monday. That has not changed. I mean, it might wiggle around a little bit, but we're still on track for upper 80s for most of next week. You can see 88 Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday even the upper 80s still before rain showers start to cool us down the second half of next week. So get ready for a big temperature swing from the 50s this week below average back to well above average in the upper 80s and 90s. I thought the summer was supposed to start mid-June. You know? We're getting a little early taste of it. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Brittany. Well, Mike Myers is at it again, but this time he 